have another update on the iMac project. Uh, this week, the new controller came in, uh, so we're going to be able to put that in. Uh, ran into another small problem there. The cable that they sent us is the correct one on this side. We have the pins and everything. This cable is not the right one. Uh, so, this is the cable I thought we needed, but it's not. It looks a lot different on the website than it does in person. So, what we actually need is this connector, not this connector. And they make this adapter with this connector on it, but that's not what I ordered apparently. So we do still have the schematics and the ribbon bus that we were working on earlier, as well as the header for this ribbon cable. So what we're going to do, um, which won't waste any parts or affect this at all, we're going to go ahead and solder the wires to this header. Uh, and if we do that correctly, uh, we'll be able to actually plug those wires into the points of this adapter, or of this connector, uh, and just adapt between the two um, between the two pinouts. So we're gonna try that, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, if we mess this up, it's not wasting anything because it's from the part that we already threw out. So uh, we're just gonna try to make do with what we got. We're gonna make our own adapter for the adapter. So we're gonna have driver adapter adapter long cable screen. Shouldn't affect the signal quality at all, right? Anyway, let's get started. All right, so the game plan here is we're gonna take this header, we're gonna take these cables, and then we're going to individually solder them all up to the connectors that they go to according to our schematics over here, which I need to set back up. Um, probably gonna time lapse for most of this. If I run anything interesting, I will uh, I'll let you guys know. All right, so I got our ribbon cable all stripped off. I think our best bet's going to be to pre-tin these, and then these still have some solder on them from where we desoldered them, and they should just stick quite nice. I'm actually going to need to trim these back a little bit because they're a little too long even. So I think we'll we'll tin them at this length and then use the, the snips to trim them down a little bit. So let's get started on that. Let's actually pull this out. It's going to be easier to do this up here. So we don't have nearly as much wire sticking out, uh, which would increase our risk of actually running into a short. So let's get this set back up with the, uh, the pens here. We get to work. So I know the first three we need, that's power, ground, ground, or rather ground, power, power. So let's do those first. I shouldn't need any more solder on this. Should be able to just go up to it. Give it some heat and it should stick. Okay. That worked for like two seconds. magnifying glass. If I use this magnifying glass, can you guys still see what I'm doing? So it looks like we're going to need to pretend these pins too. They're not, they're not taking. So I guess there's not nearly as much solder on there as I thought there was. So let's do that. Definitely have solder on both points now. Let's use some tweezers to get in here a little better because I burnt my finger a second ago. 
not badly, but enough so that I realize I should be using tweezers. Everything but the extra grounds hooked in. And the extra grounds weren't wired in on the original part, so that 
should be fine. So let's, uh, yeah, this is disgusting. Um, I'm going to go through this with a visual check and then probably again with a, uh, a multimeter to make sure there's no nice or crossed before we start on the next part, which will be just taking these loose ends and plugging them into the, just literally plugging them into this jack. So that's super easy to do. It's just a matter of getting them, getting them in the right order, but they should be in the right order. So it shouldn't be a problem, but there's a lot of shoulds in that sentence. So we'll see. So I'm just gonna hit this real quick with the multimeter. If I find anything interesting, I'll, I'll be back. It looks like our connections are good. We just need to be really careful with this order because of how twisted up these are because of how the last time we used them, they went. So yeah, let's just be super careful. Do them one at a time in order. So starting at the top and one. Work our way down and one and two and three. That sounds like an easy workout video for a second there. So I'm not sure how we're going to secure all this yet, if this even works. And if I do figure it out and you guys have a better idea, let me know. I always want to talk to you guys, so if you have feedback, please, please, please let me know. that the blue wire is actually data minus. All right, I'm gonna do a Google to make sure that I'm right before we do this, just to be safe. So if the internet's to be believed, this should be correct. So I'm going to uh, get the screen, uh, get everything hooked up, and cross my fingers and see what happens. All right, so on this side, uh, we're just gonna take the connector and it just locks in here. Let's just lock in here. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to kind of feed this out the side so that we're not tucking this big mess behind it. Okay. Alright, so it leaves all this stuff free. Ladybug is joining us for the uh, initial test here. We Hello. haven't We haven't actually turned this on at all, so... I did get this so the new one I bought came with this um, this inverter as well so we don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to pin out of the old inverter works to get the backlight to work so that's good uh, I did test the inverter I put a live signal to this without the data wires hooked up and we did get the backlight on so the backlight still works we do have a small crack in the front of the screen here which I'm sure you'll be able to see once we get everything fired up um, the other thing I'm a little worried about is my uh, power for this. I was using a wall adapter, a universal adapter yesterday, and it wasn't, it didn't have enough juice to keep the screen on. So we're gonna be using my uh, desktop power supply with that adapter's plug. It's a little janky. Not really a fire hazard, but don't do this. Lots of points of failure here. We also have to supply it with a VGA signal, so we'll grab this VGA cable hooked up to the iMac. Hook it up. And plug the power in. This isn't live yet, there's no power on this yet. Just as a heads up. In case this doesn't work, you guys can go, hur, 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 you didn't turn the power on, genius. Don't worry. Yeah, see, I called you out, didn't I? All right, so let's power up the iMac. And then once the IMAX on, then we'll put power to the screen and see if we've got a signal. So, IMAC, IMAC powering up. It's over there, can't see it. Powering up. It's so pretty. It is very pretty. OK, 
Okay. That's up and running. Let's fire up the 12 volt power. Which did literally nothing. Did you try turning it off and turning it back on again? Did you try setting it to one bow? Let's use that wallet after we used yesterday because I know it actually worked. Most not 100% sure if my wall, my desktop power supply is even plugged in, so I forgot about that. So apparently the battery of my video camera is dead. I tried to unplug it and move it over so you guys could see it, and it just didn't do anything. So turn off some lights. We have a display. Wait, there we go. We have a display. So there's a little crack here, but you can barely see it when the screen actually is on. Uh, unless we have a black screen, it'll be really obvious. Um, it's not the greatest, but it fits and it works, so it'll do. Um, it's also a TN panel, so it probably looks worse than it actually is. Uh, like, straight on. It's actually not that bad. I don't know what's up with these little weird errors that the Steam thing is giving me, but we'll deal with that later. So holy crap, that actually worked. My janky little adapter worked, so uh, that's going to do it for this video. Um, we're going to do it in the next video. We'll actually be installing the screen of the iMac, uh, finding a way to permanently attach these cables, um, and get all that sorted out. But um, we're almost done with the main part of this. Uh, the only other things to do are small things, uh, wiring up the USB adapter internally with the power supply on it. Uh, we have to find a way to power this thing still, uh, which could be a pain, but we'll figure that out when we get there. And we also have to figure out how to get the USB external uh, set to order parts for that. Don't want to do that. So uh, we'll see if we can do it without ordering parts. If not, we'll have to order them. Whatever. But that's good for now. Hit like, subscribe. See you in the next one.